You know, building in a confined space is never fun. There's always something bound to get messed up. So, not only that, but things can get really, really messy. So here I am, almost done building this thing, and um, after getting through a couple of obstacles, I found out that there's something else that I'll show you in just a bit. So, what have I found out so far? The main problems with this thing. First of all, the rod here, even in the video, the uh, demonstration video on how to put it together, you have to bang this thing in with a hammer or a mallet to get it in there. So it took some force to get it in there, but now it's in there and it does move quite smoothly. So that's all right. The other thing is the M325 screws are not in here. So I had to use the M330 screws for now, along with a bunch of uh, nuts probably, or washers, just like what people did on the internet, and then use it like that to secure the motor over here. And lastly, after figuring out everything, I get to the wiring part and guess what I find out? Take a look at the power connector here. See that? That is just not right. Now if we take a look at the side here, right there, that is just not right. So, guess what I am going to be doing now? I'm going to have to take apart this board, unplug everything, and uh, try to solder it back on and hopefully that the contacts aren't so broken that I can't even solder it anymore because that's what it looks like. And if that's the case, then, uh, I don't know. I'm probably gonna have to get a new board or something. So good news, the connections here are okay. They're just broken off, just bad solder joint. So it is fixable. All right, so the soldering iron seems to be hot and ready to go. Let's quickly test it out here. There we are. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm first to add some solder. And then I'm going to hold it from the bottom and push it back up to where it should be. That should do the trick. All right, solid as a rock, no movement. Well, almost no movement. Let's go over it one more time. In fact, since I'm already here, I'm going to redo these ones as well. Yep, so that should be pretty much it. It looks good. Solid as a rock. Not going anywhere, hopefully. I mean, there should be some support columns, but again, it's cheap. All right, let's get back to building. All right, so everything is hooked up, soldered on, and connected. This is the final moment, guys. I want to hook this up, so wish me luck. Hopefully, this thing does not blow up and catch fire. And, uh, yeah. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh. It's on! Oh my god! Printer ready! Success! Alright! Awesome! Um... Yep, it's not catching fire, so that's good. Okay, that is it. So let me clean up, and then we'll try to do a print or something. I've never used a 3D printer before, so yeah. Let's transition. All right, so what I'm doing now is just cleaning up again. Uh, as you can see, the desk is now finally clear. I put all the trash in the trash. Now I'm just having the robot here clean up uh, the styrofoam that's left behind. And as you can see, there's a lot of uh, zip ties left, so I'm probably gonna use them to do some cable measurement in the back even more. And yeah, once everything's cleaned up, I have the fan open, of course, on max. And uh, I have the window open as well as this thing. So it is extremely noisy right now. Uh, I did manage to actually drop this thing right here and it cracked this piece open as well as this joint right here. So it cracked, but it's still intact. It's still stable, it's fine. It's just a spool. Thankfully it didn't crack this thing. So yeah. But yeah, let's just finish cleaning up and then we're gonna turn it on. And I've actually ordered two full, uh, two kilograms of the spools filament uh, one is a black and one is a red nice colors to uh, go along with the build so yeah let's see what kind of stuff we can build this is exciting all right let's move on all right and we are finally done everything is cleaned up nicely thanks to that robot and the build table is clean and the 3d printer works supposedly because it turns on it didn't blow up and yeah Cleaned up, uh, did some cable management. All I did was add two zip ties. And here are the filaments that I'm gonna be working with. Two kilograms, 2.2 pounds each. So that is nice, black and red. 
nice colors and you know i should have gotten green or blue but whatever i'll get that later but yeah guys the next video will be you guessed it turning this thing on and building something with it or printing something with it so yeah i will see you guys in the next video for the 3d printer talk to you guys later hope you guys enjoy this peace